Hi, what's up? Welcome back. So in the past I've made a tutorial on how to create some really cool liquid bubbles in Photoshop. By the way, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. And you guys kept telling me in the comments to create this in After Effects. So you know, you can animate them. And today we're going to create exactly that. Alright, let's get to work. Alright, so let's create a new composition. Uh, comp1, 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS. Alright, let's create a new adjustment layer. Let's call this BG and make sure you disable this one by clicking on this button and let's now search for a gradient ramp effect. So for the first color I'm going to use F7F1D3 and for the second one I'm going to use 41C0F6. Alright, let's also take these points, let's move them in the top right corner and the other one in the bottom left corner, something like this. Alright, now let's lock this layer just so you don't move it accidentally and now let's create a new shape. So double click on this rectangle tool, actually let's take this pen tool and let's create the first bulb. Right, something like this. Now let's rename this to original bulb. Now let's create another shape. So let's take this rectangle tool, double click on it, then right click on the rectangle pad, convert this to Bezier pad and take this pad. Now take the pad of the original bulb. So I'm going to press U on the keyboard twice and I'm going to click on the stopwatch just so we can access this better by pressing U and now I'm going to link this pad to this one. Alright, and this will be just bulb simple. Alright, now let's disable the original bulb because we're going to use this one just for the pad and now let's create some layer styles. So double click, actually right click on the bulb layer and then go to layer styles and then bevel nambos. Alright, go to blending options, then go to advanced blending and here I'm going to change the fill opacity just to 20%. Then go to bevel and emboss and I'm going to change the depth. Actually, let's make this 100, then increase the size to about 50. Then soften it a little bit maybe 15 and let's also change the shadow color i'm going to choose this pink purple color right here maybe decrease the opacity 50 percent i think it looks pretty good and let's play around with the angle and the altitude so 115 for the angle and for the altitude, let's see, maybe 60. Now let's add a gradient ramp effect. So double click on it. And for the first color, I'm going to choose here 48A, AB. And for the second one, 1D8BA7. Let's take these points, move them a little bit closer to our shape. All right, let's also add some turbulent displace effect. And for the amount, I'm going to choose 20. And for the size, let's make it 80. Now we want to animate a little bit this turbulent displace effect. So I'm going to hold the Option key or the Alt key if you're on Windows. And click on this evolution stopwatch then I'm going to write here time multiplied by 100 and now we have a little bit of animation let's try to make this pet a little bit rounded something like this all right now let's change this mode of the layer so I think I'm going to select linear light but you can choose any other mode it's up to you and now let's create a new shape so 
double click on this rectangle tool now let's create a mask so again take this rectangle tool make sure this time you have selected this button right here create a random mask and now i'm going to go here in the mask path and i'm going to link this one to the original bulb path all right let's add again some bevel and emboss style and this time i'm going to go here in the advanced blending option and i'm going to select zero for the advanced blending then for the bevel and emboss let's choose here PLO emboss and smooth 100 maybe that's too much you can't really see for now what we're doing but i'm actually trying to create a little bit of of internal shadow right here so let's see maybe if i increase the size you can see it right there so i'm going to choose about 70 let's soften it up a little bit maybe four then i'm going to play around with the angle a little bit maybe 180 and for the altitude let's see 80 yeah that's fine all right and now for the highlight color i'm going to choose some pink color maybe this one and for the shadow opacity just make it zero and now you can see this line right here so without and with again maybe we can we can soften this up a little bit more maybe nine something like this and again you can play around with the settings as much as you want you can create a lot of variations by playing with this right let's call this internal shadow and for the mask let's also create some feather maybe 10 that's enough for the opacity maybe 80 and for the expansion let's see maybe minus 30 that's fine because if we let this to zero you can see this line is on the outside of the bulb so we want it to be inside so i'm going to decrease this to minus 30 all right now let's create another shape so again double click the rectangle tool right click on it convert to bezier path and i'm going to link this path to the original bulb path now i'm also going to create a mask again make sure you click on this tool creates mask button this time create a random mask and then link the mask path to the original bulb path let's call this uh, external gradient external gradient and let's now add four color gradient effect all right and for the first color i'm going to choose red for the second one i'm going to choose pink for the third one i'm going to choose this violet right here and for the last one i'm going to choose this green all right let's also take these points move them closer to our bulb all right and let's see maybe we can decrease the blend to 10 all right now let's add a glass effect to this so cc glass double click on it and for the surface i'm going to choose here on the bump map i'm going to choose original bulb then for the softness i'm going to to increase it let's also decrease the resolution so we can see better what we're doing so yeah softness maybe 50 for the height yeah 25 is good and for the displacement i'm going to decrease this a lot let's say minus 90. all right let's also go in the light settings and maybe we can choose here a lower value maybe 70 
but before playing with this I'm going to change this mod to let's see maybe colorborn so I'm going to switch through all this mod and you can do that by holding the shift and the plus button just so you don't have to click any time on this panel right here so I'm going to hold shift and the plus button and I'm going to toggle between all these modes and I'm going to see which one I like better so for example soft light looks pretty good or maybe overlay yeah I think I'm going to go with overlay this time and now let's change again so light intensity I'm going to decrease it by 30 and line height let's see maybe 80 that's fine now let's also add a turbulent displace effect all right and I'm going to choose 15 for the amount and for the size 80 so I want to animate this uh, so in order to do that hold the option key or the alt if you're on windows click on the stopwatch again and write time multiply by 100 all right and we have the first bubble now let's create some text so take the text tool let's write here liquid and put this layer beyond all these layers now let's add a cc blobilize effect all right go in the blobiness settings and here make sure you select original bulb for the softness let's go all the way up to 50 for the cutaway maybe 34 then let's go in the light settings actually i'm not going to change anything here i'm going to add another effect so this one will be the liquify effect and i'm going to select this one right here increase the brush size by holding ctrl or command key and drag with the left click of the mouse and i'm going to click once here maybe twice and again once or twice in this part then increase the size again and click once in the middle all right now i'm going to change this name to liquid inside duplicate it with ctrl d or command d and this will be liquid outside let's delete all these settings and let's add the set matte effect for this one i'm going to choose original bulb again and make sure to click invert matte now i'm going to move this a little bit up just so we have some offset between the text on the inside and the text on the outside and one thing we can do is go back to the liquid inside the layer and let's add a turbulent displace effect so 20 for the amount and 80 for the size let's animate this time multiply by 50 all right now let's also take these two layers duplicate them let's move them lower and to the right and i'm going to change the text to bubble and also for this one bubble and let's also change the color of these two let's make them white all right and for the first one i'm going to take the liquify effect delete it and select it again take the brush tool so one or two clicks here one or two clicks here increase the brush size and one here all right and now take all these two layers and just move them a little bit lower now take only the liquid outside and move it a little bit lower something like this so we have the first the first bubble and now we're going to create the second one so take all these four layers duplicate them move them on top move them to the right something like this then i'm going to press u on the keyboard twice 
and I'm going to change this expression to be original bulb to here and another one here another one here and I think that's all yeah all right and now I'm going to select this pet and I'm going to change the the pet so we have another shape of this second bubble all right something like this now let's go in the in the bulb to layer and I'm going to actually we forgot something so go to bulb layer and we forgot to add a glass effect here so CC glass surface bulb is fine then for the softness I'm going to increase it let's make it 50 for the height I'm going to make it minus 32 and for the displacement minus 120 yeah that's fine let's go in the light settings maybe we can change the light a little bit so 110 and the line height maybe 65 all right now let's copy this effect go back to bulb to layer paste this move it above the turbulent displays for the bump map make sure you select the bulb to layer all right now for the displacement effect uh, 20 and 80 that's perfectly fine and I'm going to select maybe another mod here actually let's stick with linear light and we're going to change this later if we think we're going to need it now let's go to the bevel and emboss settings here and let's play around with these settings again I'm going to change the shadow color so let's make it 20 A E A A and now we have this green bulb and let's play around with the size again maybe decrease the size a little bit let's see for the depth this is fine 100 yeah we're going to lay this as it is and now I'm going to go in the external gradient to layer and I'm going to move these points to be closer to our bulb and then I'm going to select other colors here so for the first one 25C8E3 for this one I'm going to choose this dark blue for the second one actually for the third one it's going to be 46CCAD and for the last one 9B6613 something like this and I'm going to change the mode let's see to hue maybe hue looks pretty good all right maybe we can play around with the mask opacity let's stick to 90 percent now let's go here on the CC glass effect make sure we have the bump map linked to original bulb 2 then for the light yeah we're going to lay this to 30 and this one to 80 that's perfectly fine we also have to blend this place effect that's cool and all right now we have this one done and i'm going to duplicate these four layers to create the last bubble so press u twice change this to original bulb tree and also here and also here all right that's all select again all these layers move them in the bottom left corner and I'm going to change this path right here all right something like this now let's go to the bulb tree layer and I think I'm going to change the fill color so change it to 10 C E A D. I don't think it has any influence but anyway I'm going to change the bump map of the CC glass so make sure to link it to bulb tree and then let's go to the internal shadow tree and maybe we can play around 
with the bevel and embo settings again. But before that, I'm going to go to the external gradient tree and I'm going to change these settings right here for the color gradient. And for the first one will be E2 DE20. For the second one will be 9 F13 F6. For the third one, we're going to have 0 C8 F C6. And for the last one, df 4 7 df something like this now let's take these points and move them closer all right and i'm going to change this u mod so let's see i think hue is fine but i don't like how these colors meet right here so let's see maybe we can play around with these points move them apart a little bit or we can change the opacity yeah so i'm going to change the mod to color maybe blend a little bit more make it 80 and now let's go back to the internal shadow and i'm going to duplicate this let's call it internal shadow 3 underscore 2 and go in the bevel and emboss settings again and let's see i'm going to change this so let's make the angle minus 50. let's also change this pink make it uh, make it yellow all right and i'm going to go back to the internal shadow tree and Again, maybe change these settings a little bit here. All right, something like this. So we now have two internal shadows layer. So I played around a little bit more with the settings and what I've done, I've changed the blend. I've increased it to 300 and I've set the mod to add of this four color gradient. Uh, I've also increased the opacity of the mask to 100 uh, for the mod I'm going to, to choose you and yeah now I have something I like more and now let's take uh, this one call it bubble inside and the other one call it bubble outside now let's take the liquid inside uh, let's duplicate it and let's add set met effect Let's choose here original bulb 2. For the liquify, I'm going to delete it. Now go to blobbiness and make sure uh, you change this to, to original bulb 2. Now let's add liquify effect again. Let's take again this tool right here, increase it. So one or two clicks here. Now let's take the liquid outside, select again the set met effect and i'm going to choose original bulb 2 and invert mat all right now let's take the bubble inside duplicate it make sure you change the blobbiness to original bulb 2 and let's select again a set met effect original bulb 2 and take the liquify delete it edit again and this time i'm going to select this part of the bulb now take the bubble outside layer duplicate the same effect link it to original bulb 2 and yeah we now have this bubble effect in this part of the text now let's create some animations for these layers so let's take all this let's see yeah for the bulb 2 take internal shadow to bulb 2 and external gradient 2 link it to original bulb and let's press p4 position go at the end create again a keyframe and for the first one let's put this right here and for the second one let's put this right here 
something like this. Now let's take the external gradient tree layers and link this to original bulb tree. Press R for rotation, hold option or alt if you're on Windows and click on this. And let's write time multiply by 10. And now we have this bulb right here rotating a little bit. Let's create another composition, call it final. Take the comp one, which should be liquid bubbles. So take this one, move it right here. Create a new adjustment layer and let's add some noise effect. So noise HLS and for the lightness I'm going to go with 10% and if we change the resolution to full it's going to take a while to render but it's going to look something like this maybe change this to grain or to squared yeah change it to squared and this will be noise all right so that's pretty much all if you enjoyed this video and if you got some value out of it make sure you leave a like or a subscribe it would mean a lot to me and yeah talk to you soon bye